In this video, I will introduce the if node in NADEN. This node is all about decision making. Think of it as your workflow way of asking yes, no question and then doing different things depending on the answer. It's a fundamental concept in programming and automation, but don't worry. I will keep things super simple. I will explain what the if node does in everyday terms, walk through how to set it up step by step and shows a basic example of it in action. By the end, you will see how if can make your workflow smart by letting them choose different paths. Let's jump in and learn how to give your N810 workflow a simple decision making ability. The if node is like a fork in the road for your workflow. It asks a question about your data. Does this meet a certain condition? If yes, the data goes one way, the true branch. If no, it goes another way, that's the fast branch. In simpler terms, the if node splits your workflow into two paths based on the condition. For example, Imagine if you have a list of tasks and you want to send an email if a task is labeled urgent, but do nothing if it's not. And if net can check each task urgency field. If it equals to urgent, the condition is true, then go down to the yes path and maybe trigger an email node. If not, condition is false, go down to the no path, which might just end or do something else. It's very much like asking if condition is true, do this, otherwise do this. In real life, Think of it as if it's raining, take an umbrella. If it's not, wear sunglasses. The if node in NA10 lets your automation make that kind of simple true-false choice. It can compare number, text, dates, and more. This way, your workflow can handle different scenarios automatically, which is extremely powerful for building logic in your automation. Let's set up an if node with an example condition. Don't worry. If you're new to this, I will go step by step. Drag an if node into your workflow, you will notice it has two outputs, one for true, often labeled as the first output, and one for false, the second output. Connect the if node after some node that provides data you want to check. For instance, connect it after a node that fetches the data or receives input. Click the if node to see its settings. Here you will set up a condition or multiple conditions. By default, you might see a place to add a condition. Choose a field or value from your data you want to evaluate. For example, let's say our previous node output a field called priority for a task. First, select the data type for operation. For priority, which might be text like high or low, you could choose string as type and equals as the operation. Next, set the value to compare with. For instance, high, so we are effectively saying if priority equals to high. You could add more condition with and or or logic if needed but let's stick to one simple condition for now you will see a drop down that usually says meet all or meet any if you have multiple conditions all means every condition must be true that is and logic any means at least one can be true that is or logic with one condition it doesn't matter we will leave it as a default since we only have one it's good to test with known data if you can Run the workflow up to the node or use example data. If a data meets condition that is priority is high, it should go to if nodes to output output one. If it doesn't meet the condition priority is something else like low, it goes to the false it, it goes to the false output. In NA10, when you execute the if node, you can actually see how many items went to each output branch. For example, three items is true, seven items in false if you had like 10 items. Now attach whatever you want to happen on each branch. The if node has two going outgoing connections. For a true path, you might connect an action mode. In, a, in our example, maybe connect an email node to send an alert about high priority tasks. For the false path, you could either leave it with no action or connect a different node. Activate or run the workflow fully. The if node will now route each incoming items automatically. It's literally like a traffic cop saying, you go left, you go right, depending on the condition results. That's how you set up an if node. It's mostly about defining the condition clearly. The UI in any 10 makes it relatively straightforward by letting you pick fields and condition from dropdowns. So you don't have to write code, just fill in the blanks. Let's illustrate the if node with a real case scenario. Consider you have an e-commerce shop and you want to automatically handle orders differently based on the output. Every time an order comes in, let's say through a webhook trigger from a shop platform, 
you want to check the total price. If the order is a $100, you want it to flag for special handling, maybe a VIP customer flow. If it's $100 or less, it goes through the normal process. You have a, you have a webhook node catching new orders. After that, you place an if node. In the if node, you set the condition if order total is greater than 100, assuming order total is a number field in the incoming data. So if the node will split the path for the expensive orders versus the regular orders, connect say a telegram node on the true output to send a telegram message to your team. Big order alert, order XYZ is our $100. You might also connect other nodes to give a VIP treatment. Maybe faster shipping or a personal thank you email via an email node. For orders $100 or below, maybe you just proceed normally. You could connect a different path here that continues the standard processing. Maybe adds the order info to a database or triggers the standard confirmation email. Or if the normal process was already happening before, you might not need to do anything in the first one at all. It could end or join back later. When an order of 150 comes in, if the node sees 150 is greater than 100 is true and it routes the order data to that special handling branch alerting your team or doing the VIP workflow. When an order 50 comes in, the condition is false. So it goes down the other path and just goes through routine process without the extra fanfare. This way, one automation workflow can handle two scenarios in one go. The if node gave it a brain to distinguish between a big order and a normal order. You can imagine many such cases. Send an email if it's spotic is is critical otherwise not branch out if a text contains a certain keyword etc it's a simple yes no logic that makes your workflows much smarter and dynamic now you have learned how to use the if node to give your n810 workflow some basic decision making power now your automation can ask true false question and react differently based on the answer pretty cool for building smarter workflows right if you enjoyed this explanation or found it helpful please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more beginner friendly tutorials. We're covering many nodes and tips, so stay tuned. If you have any questions or just want to say, how would you use the if node in your project, drop a comment below. We're happy to chat. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.